hello there welcome back to the new lecture so in this lecture we have to discuss about the kitchen ventilation system part 2 so after the end of this lecture you would be able to understand about design criteria of kitchen exhaust hood so let's start now see about basic styles of type 1 hood okay as i already discussed about that exhaust hood may be classified into two type type first and type second type first hood uh, we are using for removing grease and smoke and generally this type of hood uh, used for cooking appliances okay and type second hood uh, is used for removing steam vapor heat and odor when grease is not present okay and generally this type uh, type second hood is used for dishwasher steam table etc so now see about a basic style of type one hood so there are different types of hood first of all we have a wall mounted canopy type of hood then single island double island hood then back shelf or proximity type of hood pass over and finally we have a eyebrow type of hood so these all hoods are comes under which type type one only okay it means these all type of food we are using for which for what for what purpose for cooking appliances okay now in basic styles of type first hood first we have a wall canopy hood okay you can see uh, here we have a stove and this is our wall and we have to maintain some gap between this wall and hood and then we have to install the hood so in this type of hood cooking appliance placed against a wall you can see in this figure a stove is placed against a wall okay and this type of hood wall canopy hood we are using for what purpose for minimum airflow requirement we have to use we have to install wall canopy hood okay and we have to use this type of hood for minimum airflow requirement and what it is telling that always we have to maintain while installing hood always we have to maintain three inch gap between the hood and ball okay and it has three finished sides you can see here uh, this right side left side and front side back side is already uh, hidden by this wall only okay so there uh, we have only three sides and minimum overhang requirement is what so six inch on side this left side and uh, right side and left side we have to uh, minimum overhang how much we have to give six inch and for, for in front side six to twelve inch overhang we have to uh, give for full capture okay so it means your wood size is totally based on your stove size now the next one is single island hood so in single island hood generally cooking appliance placed in the middle you can see here not against a wall okay it has four finished sides and recommended overhang is given 6 to 12 inch on all four side how much overhang we have to give 6 to 12 inch and here the baffle filter which we are using in single island type of hood is in v configuration but the function is same it is stoke oil and grease particle okay and here the important thing is what what is uh, what height we have to maintain between this stove and hood this is the question so remember height is depend on your stove which type of stove you are using suppose if your stove is flame type then height between stove and hood we have to maintain 30 inch height and if your stove is electrical type then height between stove and hood we have to maintain 24 inch okay now in basic style of type one hood only next we have a double island hood so in double island hood generally appliance uh, this type of hood is placed appliance placed back to back 
see here we have a double row of appliances placed back to back okay so in this way you can identify easily so this is our double island type of food or single island type of food and two wall canopy hood placed back to back recommended overhang for double island hood is 6 to 12 inch on all four sides here also we have to give that much of overhang now same thing it is written that what height you have to maintain uh, between stove and hood if your stove is of flame type then you have to maintain 30 inch height and if your stove is of electrical type so height between stove and hood is 24 inch okay now the next topic is basic styles of type second hood as i already told you that this type of hood we are using for removing steam vapor heat and odor when grease is not present okay on that time we have to use this type of food in that first we have a oven hood oven hood means what this hood is generally used for removal of heat and odor and canopy hood with no filter it means uh, it is telling that type second hood have uh, no filter yeah of course because filter we are using for what purpose for uh, in in case of type first hood the filter which we are using baffle filter for what purpose baffle filter only allow the smoke to enter and stoke oil and grease particle but here in case of type second hood we do not have any grease particle oil and grease particle present in the uh, smoke or vapor or heat so that is why you don't need to take any filter okay so that is why this type of hood with uh, no filter now hood size determined with oven door size so hood size is totally depend on your oven uh, door size uh, suppose this is our, your oven when you open the door of your oven na? so after the door how much overhang we have to give 6 to 12 inch 6 to 12 inch overhang we have to give for hood after the door okay remember when uh, you open the door na, after door I, uh, you have to give 6 to 12 inch overhang okay now the second one is condensate hood so this type of hood is used for removal of heat odor and moisture so here generally we are using condensate baffle and gutter so this condensate gutter is used to condensate moist air and drain the water and generally this type of wood used over dishwasher steam tables etc now here you can see the design criteria how to overhang uh, hood how much overhang we have to take for installation of hood so same uh, which i have discussed now uh, if you are using wall canopy wall mounted canopy hood so in end minimum hood overhang requirement for end uh, 150 means 6 inch and in front minimum 6 inch okay and for full full capture you have to take in front how much uh, overhang you have to maintain 300 mm okay for full capture so same way for single island double island eyebrow back shell pass over all overhang is given now see the appliances categorized in four group by cooking duty uh, we have a light cooking medium cooking heavy cooking extra heavy cooking temperature is also given so ovens cheese melter steamers will come under light cooking okay and fryers griddles will come under medium cooking and if the temperature range is uh, around 315 degree so on that time that cooking uh, comes under heavy cooking okay so generally in restaurant area we are using the cooking it is a heavy cooking okay and in residential building the kitchen we have a kitchen na? so in that uh, we have a medium cooking or light cooking only because two to three people are only are there okay and for commercial building that cooking is comes under medium cooking only okay 
so what velocity we have to maintain so for light cooking 50 fpm for medium 85 fpm for heavy 150 fpm and for extra heavy 185 fpm now see the hood pressure drop so based on your exhaust flow rate per linear meter you will get the pressure drop see if it is between 3 uh, 530 to 850 cfm so for that pressure drop is given 6 to 12 mm okay so this is the pressure drop across a hood with baffle filter now see uh, fans used in kitchen exhaust system which type of fan we are using so generally uh, we are using backward inclined fans because there are many advantages of backward inclined fan first of all that it has self cleaning properties after that this fan backward inclined fan is suitable for higher efficiency and higher pressure application also you can use backward inclined fans third advantage is, is what can work without a scroll housing okay so these are the advantages of using backward inclined fans now in this table you can see here indoor air quality is given as per ASTRA standard 62 suppose for restaurant dining area that how much people you can take maximum so for 100 square meter area maximum 75 percent you can take okay and outside air per person how much air we have to supply 21 cfm for cafeteria 21 cfm for bar or cocktail launch 30 and for kitchen see for maximum 22 percent for 100 square meter area outside air per person is given 15 cfm okay here see some important uh, remark is given maximum velocity for makeup air is 150 fpm okay and remember here the one point uh, in kitchen always we have to maintain negative pressure why to prevent odor migration to outside okay now the question is that how much uh, negative pressure we have to maintain so it is written the negative pressure should be not more than 5 pascal as per nfpa 96 okay so this is all about kitchen ventilation system part 2 now the remaining part will upload soon so if this video is important for you so please do not forget to like subscribe and share my video to your friends so i hope all of you enjoy the session see you in next one